This story begins three years ago when graduate students at Stanford University were assigned a class challenge, design an incubator that could save premature newborn babies in India, one that would cost less than $200 and help to solve the crisis of infant mortality in the developing world. More babies die here in India than in any other country in the world. In fact, nearly two million children under the age of five die in this country every year. Most of them live in poor neighborhoods like this one outside the city of Hyderabad. Most of the babies who die here don't even make it one month. One of the biggest problems they face is simply staying warm. Because these babies are so tiny, they don't have enough fat to regulate their own body temperature. Four million of these babies die every year. The ones who do not die grow up with severe long-term health problems because so much of their bodily functions are going towards staying warm that their organs don't develop normally. Jane and her team traveled to India to see for themselves why the babies were dying. They learned that 80% of the tiny infants who need incubators only need them to keep warm. And most of them were in remote villages and in the urban slums far from hospitals with the $20,000 machines. By the end of the class, we knew we were onto something good. This is the most amazing team. A PhD in electrical engineering, an aerospace engineer, a master's in computer science, to have left behind what could have been far more lucrative careers to be saving babies. We knew we had something that was immensely important not only to us as a team, but also to the world. The Stanford students now live in India. They have taken years fine-tuning the design of their cheap portable incubator. Dozens of models tried and rejected until this. It looks like a sleeping bag for newborns. It can be washed in boiling water. The inside is seamless so bacteria can't collect. Hello there. This is a two-day-old baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So and the baby in. inside is kept warm, warm by a plastic sheet so containing paraffin wax. And it's wax and water. It actually probably feels a little bit like the womb, It right? does. In fact, all the babies we put into this have fallen asleep immediately. The wax is melted using an electric warmer where there's electricity or simply by pouring boiling water on it. The wax is tucked in the back and will remain at 98 degrees for four hours and then can be reheated. All this for less than $200. Hi, Munchkin. <laughs> Hi there. He's sound asleep. The culmination of two years of work, of hard work, of constant prototypes, and finally we have a product that is actually helping uh, you know, a newborn child, and that's it's unbelievable. After two years on the drawing board, Jane and her team were finally ready to try their portable baby warmer on someone who needed it. Nisha, a five-pound baby girl who was struggling to keep herself warm in a village in Bangalore. The first time I saw a, a baby put in this, I just had chills down my spine. Baby Nisha survived. She just turned five months old. Doctors at the Cradle Hospital in Bangalore have just finished the first round of tests on the Embrace Baby Warmer. A second and final set of trials are about to begin. We're going to meet the highest quality standards. We're not bringing a second-rate product to developing countries. What's been the reaction within the medical community to this device? It's been incredible. And doctors are literally lining up to place orders for the product. Clinics without incubators will use the baby warmers to move critically ill babies to city hospitals. Mothers in rural villages will use them to keep their underweight newborns warm and alive. So how many babies' lives do you think you can save with this? Over the next five years, we hope to save and help over a million babies. And most of them will be from villages like this one, where Jane and the Embrace team have refined their baby warmer with the help of the mothers who will eventually use it. Because in these villages, it's an everyday fact, right, that, that babies die. In fact, in many villages, you don't even name your baby for the first month of life. Sudatha has lost all three of her newborn children. All were low birth weight babies. All died because they were too small to keep themselves warm. The vision for me is that babies no longer die from being cold. That every rural clinic and every rural healthcare worker is equipped with the Embrace device. 
Sudatha was shown the newest Embrace baby warmer, and soon other women from the village joined in. They too had lost children, they said. And within minutes, they were teaching each other how the baby warmer is used. If I had this, Sudatha said, I could have saved my babies. I could have had children. In March, the mass production of Embrace baby warmers will begin. India will be served first, and then the world. There is a huge, huge global need for this, from Uganda, from Haiti, from Poland, asking when can we purchase these. And hearing that just made me realize how close we are to, to fulfilling our mission, right? to, to giving mothers a chance to save their children. And that's what drives me. So you're going to change the world starting right here in India? I hope so. <laughs>